Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations has failed for the second time to compel disgruntled teacher unions to call off their strike. The meeting between the two feuding parties has been adjourned to Tuesday, November 8th. The three unions are the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, CCT. They are demanding government revokes the appointment of the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Dr. Eric Kinkansa. And our Labour correspondent, Daniel Opoku, monitored the second meeting and joins us. Thank you for your time, Daniel. What ensued at the meeting? Right. So today's meeting was basically to discuss the need for the teachers to call off their strike. That is for the first one. And also to be able to address their grievances. Basically, teachers are asking for the removal of the Director General of Education Service and his deputy. But unfortunately, they could not reach that amicable conclusion. They were able to... They were able to have their various discussions where caucus meetings were done. You have the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, all supported by his Deputy Bright Reku Brobi. Then you also have the Minister of Education and the Deputy Minister of Education as well. They had their various caucus meetings. The unions also had their various caucus meetings. But fortunately, they could not reach any amicable solution. And they have decided to agenda the meeting to tomorrow afternoon where they'll be able to meet again and see whether there'll be conclusions with regard to what they have tabled before the two sector ministries. Mm. Now from the meeting, is there indication that everything will be resolved on Tuesday? Right. From the meeting, the indications were able to pick that hopefully by close of day tomorrow, they should be able to resolve everything that they have tabled before the sector Minister of Employment and Labor and the Minister of Education. Take a even listen to the president of NAT, Reverend Isaac Owusu, who made a point with regard to what will happen probably tomorrow. Certainly tomorrow when we meet, the outcome will be before you. He says that your strike is not even biting. Please. If it is not if it is not biting, why are we here? Yeah, those who have defied your orders and commands. Please and let us let region. us not muddy the waters. We are we are government representatives who are very uh, responsible, listening to the side of the union leaders. Mm -hmm. So we are saying that be, be rest assured, God willing tomorrow, two PM, we'll come and then conclude the meeting. So that was from Nathan. Daniel, they're mainly saying that this strike is is not necessary because there are many pressing issues that teachers could um, strike on, but not this. But what is government saying about this whole thing? Are they also saying it's not necessary? Right. What, from, the, from Friday, last week Friday, the indications we have been able to pick the fact that government is not satisfied with the strike and the strike is not necessary. So what they have asked the teachers to do is for them to call up the strike. But when you look at the concerns, it has nothing to do with salary increment or adjustment or negotiations for base pay or anything of that sort. By basically trying to question the fact that the Director General is not an educationist. That should not be the reason for them to embark on a strike. We can even take a listen to what the sector, Deputy Minister of Employment and Labor Relations said, Bright Recruba, with regard to tomorrow's meeting, where he was saying that the strike is unnecessary for that reason they have to call off so that negotiations or discussions can continue. Right. For the second time, you have failed to call the teachers to go back to work. You see, when you say failed, uh, it's, 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 it's a very strong word. We have not failed. If there are issues and you are discussing and you say failed, you're already preempting the outcome of it. We have not. We've, in fact, had another constructive meeting, uh, which for me, uh, tomorrow, God willing, you know, we have to do further consultations. They, on the other hand, says that, yes, uh, they have other stakeholders beyond those who came here. So tomorrow, God willing, uh, we will bring this matter to a very successful end. We've also heard from government. Now, before you go, Dr. Eric in cancer, have we heard from him? As we speak now, Dr. Eric in cancer has not spoken. And his deputy lawyer, Anthony Boati, also has not spoken. So both of them have not said anything. But consistently, you have the minister of um, you have the education minister who attended the meeting today. He also did not speak to the media. Mm -hmm. So the talking was left within the confines of the Minister of Employment and Labor because they called the meeting. So sure. let's hope tomorrow, by close of day tomorrow, we should have the Minister of, of Education making a point and then we know, we'll know what to do. But as we speak currently, Dr. Kinkansa has not said anything and that's, that's where we are now. Thank you so much.